I genuinely do not understand how I keep finding myself in these rabbit holes of things getting worse when I think, like, it just isn't possible to get any worse. So if you didn't see it, a couple days ago I made a video on the founder of D2 Gunsmith, which is a very popular, like, Destiny 2 API website where you can see a bunch of perks and different weapons in the game, very useful information. The founder of that website was falsely banned by Bungie with no explanation. This was when Bungie was implementing a series of ban waves against people who were using uh, something called net limiting, which is basically the modern form of lag switching to an extreme. But he was falsely banned with no explanation why and decided to uninstall the game and said, F it, I'm done. Luckily, he was unbanned about a day or so later. Again, no apology, no explanation, I, I, just zero words coming from Bungie. It, I genuinely have never seen anything like it before. So literally a couple days later, one of the most dedicated Destiny 2 players, someone that is in my Twitch chat all the time, named Jop. Jop is a hardcore Destiny player, plays all the time, is very well known for his air apparent skills in pvp was banned with no explanation and i was thinking to myself okay well maybe did he trash talk somebody because it's possible we all get heated in crucible was never given an explanation as to why he's banned but this was also around the same time that bungie was issuing waves of bans for uh, people that were supposedly net limiting and i was about 99.9 .9 certain that jop is somebody who would not net limit Jop is from the UK, so he's already having connection issues as it is. I thought maybe it would have something to do with using a VPN, so I asked him. I was like, yo, do you use a VPN? He's like, no, I don't. So when I woke up the next day and started streaming, I kept getting sent tweet after tweet after person coming into chat. It just got worse. All these people that were, again, I don't know these people for certain were clean, we're getting banned for no reason. And they had lots of friends vouching for each other, saying that, oh, this person's done nothing wrong. No idea why these people were banned. And these were some of the most hardcore Destiny players in the entire game. And after a very long and silent 24 hours with no explanation from anybody at Bungie explaining what was happening, there was a statement made from Steam first. Steam said, We've removed the incorrectly applied in-game bans on behalf of the Destiny 2 team. And after another day or so, Bungie finally came out with a statement. This wasn't in the game. This was on their Bungie help Twitter, which I know not everybody follows. A good amount of the players do, but not everybody's going to see it. Human error on a new cheat detection caused some incorrect bans to occur this week. We've turned the new detection off while we investigate the error and process the related unbans. All pre-existing anti-cheat systems are still in effect. More details to come in this week's TWAB. No apology to the people that got banned and were scared that their possible thousands of hours of work and dedication to the game were just gone. Just a straight fisting and a, uh, my bad guys is all that they really got. I can understand if this is maybe a few person situation that happened here. But the fact that there was a decent amount of players affected, I'd relatively ballpark to say a few hundred players probably got banned from this as a result with no explanation. And then a AAA studio proceeds to not communicate for upwards of 48 to 72 hours about what was going on with their new cheat system that nobody had any idea was being implemented, which is fine because you don't want people to be able to circumnavigate the cheat detection or whatever. But you need to be sure that it is 100% accurate. Not 99.9, .9, because we're talking on a big scale of millions of players that play this game. One small thing goes wrong in that and causes thousands of people to get banned. This could have been 100 times worse. And not to mention, now people at Bungie now have to go through and manually review all the accounts that were falsely banned. I'm all for banning the net limiting double dweeb losers that play the game, but I shouldn't have to be paranoid upon logging in that I'm going to be banned out of fear that I did something wrong when there's no rhyme or reason to it. In the end, I'm glad the people that were not actually doing anything wrong got unbanned and are still in the process of making everything right, but the situation definitely needs to be handled better next time.